Hi, this is Ilona and today I want to show you how to add snow to a photo. Hi, we were in Photoshop and today we're going to add snow to this photo. I have a photo of a boy here standing and he has this really cool hat and he has this red nose. You can see it was cold, there's snow behind him. There is even a little bit of snow on his hat, so I think that the falling snow around him look, would look great. I prepared a few snow overlines for you and you can find them on my website. There is a link below this in this um, description of this video. Just go down there and find the link and it will take you to my website where you can download those overlays. And there is um there are a few ones and I think that one of the most important thing is to choose the right overlay. And if I, I went through all of them and I chose this one and I'm gonna show you why. Because this now number seven has this a little bit of like a swirl um thing going on here. You can see those um those um snowflakes turned into dots, but they're not dots anymore, they're more like ovals that go around. And that reminds me of this background here. And see how it go, goes all around his face. Let's just choose this one. So we'll go to um, Finder or Explorer, just grab the overlay that you like and just drag it onto the photo and just let go. And that should be uh, that should appear here as a new layer. I place it here and drag it up and click OK. As in every overlay, the trick is to change the blending mode from normal here to screen and that should make all the black color, that should make all the color on this layer invisible. And that's how you can see the, the boy below. I can move it around here. Well, it's, it looks okay, but it's not perfect yet. It looks, still looks like it was fake, it was added. And the way to understand why it, was, it looks fake is to have another photo where it was real. And I have another photo here. Just go here and you will see a boy walking in the snow. You can see it was a heavy snowfall uh, with a look really, really tiny um, snowflakes. But just pay attention to the fact that you can see the falling snow on the background. Here we can see the trees and, and, and the building. But here on the ground, you can't see the falling snow. And the reason for that is that the snow that is falling is has the same color as the snow on the ground. So to make our image look better, we have to make sure that the, we can't see the snow on the, um, where the, where's there's snow in the, uh, in the background. It means that the snow here has a little bit of a different color, maybe it also has, uh, it's also a little brighter. So I've been trying many ways and I think the easiest way to do that is just to double click on this, lay on this layer. So just don't click here on the image itself, just click on this grey um, rectangular somewhere there and we'll find something called layer style. And what we want to tell Photoshop is to show that falling snow, so this, this layer, only when, when, when the underlying layer is darker. So it means that only when it's darker here in the background or on the boy. But do not show this layer. So do not show that snow when the underlying layer is bright. We have this uh, blend if option. And if I move this, this uh, slider down, it's going, to, it's going to show you how the, how the snow is going to start disappearing from the bottom of the image. And it's going to move up. So it's like, it's almost what we want, but it's not perfect yet. We need to separate this arrow into two parts and that is going to make, introduce some feathering and it's going to be more smooth and nice. 
just click option on your R, Alt on your keyboard and click here to separate and then you can let go, you don't have to hold it anymore and then you move one piece up and then you can move the other one up and just find the best best way for you okay and I'm pretty happy with uh, with the result right now see this now looks so much more natural the only thing I'm not happy about this this little bit of those a few of those um, snowflakes on his face maybe I don't like those bigger dots on on his jacket as well so let's just use a layer mask I'm gonna click here on the layer mask and I'm gonna choose a brush here and this will be a black brush because uh, we have a white layer mask and white makes um, <coughs> white means that this layer is visible. Black will mean that this layer won't, is not visible. So I want to make it invisible in parts. So wherever I paint is going to make this layer invisible. And also I'm using a soft brush. So here, when you click here, the hardness is zero. And the other thing is that if you have uh, opacity and flow, pay attention to the fact that I'm using a low flow. And if you want to know why I use flow, not opacity, in this case, just go to my other video. I'm going to try to link it down here. And you'll see uh, what's the difference between the two of them and why in this case I prefer to use flow instead of opacity. I'm just going to brush over to remove some of that, those dots I don't want to remove all of them because that will look natural that the snow is falling behind him not in front of him I think I'm going to remove this whole thing okay I'm pretty happy with my image now see this is my image um, this is somewhere in the middle of my of my editing and this was the image before uh, any editing. So this is the original image. This is my old file and this is where I ended up with. So um, I don't know if that's a huge difference or not, but um, this is what I'm, I'm going for. So if you want to see uh, the whole editing from the raw file to the ready image, just go to my website. Let me just show you my website. You go here, you have my website. I'm going to try to link it down here below and um, you can change the language so just click here on this little flag here it's going to take to change the language to English and go to tutorials you have single videos you have editing uh, uh, editing videos there should be another one called resources because that's right now I'm creating this right now and you can like in editing videos collections you can find all the videos, all the single videos, just collect, just collected <laughs> together. And if you want to know which videos are featured in this collection, just click here, and that will take you to a uh, to a gallery with all the before and afters shown. And also, if you decide to buy one of those collections, and you're there. Um, and you're, um, you can also download all the files and edit with me step by step. So I will take you from the raw file to a ready image and you can follow me on your computer uh, to make sure that you understand and you know where to find all the tools. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to add snow. Make sure to download the snow from my website and um, and a few things to remember is to choose the right snow, then to make it look natural by making sure that you can't see the falling snow on the snow that is lying down on the ground. And um, well, there's also an option to use a layer mask and just mask it out from, from some parts that you don't like. Um, so thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.